All right, everyone, how's it going? Today, we're going to be taking a look at the new Super Mario Bros. 2 Nintendo 3DS XL. This is made for the Japanese market. There was actually some made for other markets as well of the uh, of the new Super Mario Bros. 2 uh, game edition console, uh, but for some reason, Nintendo went all over the place with this one. So Japan got this really nice design here, which has these sort of lines that go through the unit. We'll open it up and see properly in a second. Canada got this one that was even more impressive and had this massive Mario over here. Lots of cool little designs. And then it seems as though the rest of the world got this. Just a plain red Nintendo 3DS. Now it's kind of cool, looks a fair amount like the Crimson Nintendo DS Lite. Gonna be unboxing this very soon on the channel. Um, but I don't know what on earth happened. Nintendo were just like, yeah, nah, they'll be fine. They don't want anything cool on the top. They just want a red console. I don't know why they didn't bother giving us this uh, in the UK, but it does make this video quite interesting because there's a good chance you've probably never seen this console before. And this one is absolutely brand new, which is really really damn cool because this came out in 2012 so it's 11 years old and it's probably never been opened before so before we go any further a big thank you to flexispot for sending me a desk they haven't paid me or anything they just sent me out this desk for free but i've been using a flexispot desk now for over a year and i'm more than happy to recommend them this is actually my second one for a new plan that i have so stay tuned for that they're super easy to assemble and a really high quality they have lots of different desktop options of Available, so please check out their website if you're looking for a desk loads of different price ranges the link is in the description Let's take a quick look at the outside of it and then we can open it up and look inside I absolutely love the design as I said, I think it's just amazing. I love what they've done with the box I think this just looks so clean, but it also looks so Nintendo and exciting and uh, yeah The fact that Luigi and Mario over here and then it even I, I imagine it says New Super Mario Bros. 2 up here as well. Um, this probably says that the game is included, pre-installed. Uh, they've actually stopped doing that now with uh, custom uh, consoles, you know, like the special edition consoles, like the latest Zelda edition Switch. Doesn't come with the bloody game. I mean, I mean, whose idea was that? I mean, I mean, what's actually happened to Nintendo? Like, they stopped giving us the charges, and now they don't even give us the games. Next, they're going to just not even give us the consoles. We're just going to get an empty box. I can't wait for that period of time. So, yeah, the top just has a bunch of waffle on it, like I am doing right now, just waffling. Uh, although this side is kind of cool. You've got some gold... Uh, designs here of the mushroom, the shell, the little leaf, the coin, the flower, and the brick. Really cool. And then you've got the same thing over here as well in a slightly different combination. We do look into the full detail on this channel. On the back, there are lots of lovely pictures of the levels and stuff like that. I think this probably says that the charger was not included. We're going to find out in a second, but um, yeah, I believe this was the generation where they started to sack that off because they hated us and wanted more money. There's three coins in there. That's absolutely adorable, although they're off center, which is irritating me massively. Um, there's some more coins in here as well and a little rocket that actually looks so sick. I love this box, it's so cool. Look, there's more in here as well. It's the Metal uh, Metal Mario and Luigi. So epic, I love it. Lots of little Easter eggs and stuff all over this box. So we've got all of the leaflets and manuals and AR cards. We've also got a Club Nintendo thing here. Feel free to redeem those points. So yeah, there's all of these leaflets and pieces of paper, which we really do not care about. There's the AR cards. They've not been opened and they probably never will be. So let's set all of that to the side. And as predicted, there is no charger in here. It's literally just the unit, but let's take it out. What does it say on the back here? Uh, G N A S P R S J P N L4, which was the alternative name other than the Nintendo 3DS. That's what they were gonna go for. It didn't stick, they decided to change it. Wow, okay, this is absolutely brand new. This is brand new, and you can tell because it's still got this little thing in here, and no one ever keeps that. Look at it, oh my goodness me. It looks like it might have been opened um, probably for the photos of the listing, but yeah, that has not got a single scratch on it and oh my days look at how crispy this looks everything is just brand new it's like i've teleported back in time so yeah you can see there there's a little mario face and a little luigi one there as well 
really, really nice. The black text looks so sleek with this black strip up here as well. And then you've got a black stylus, which I think as well is a really nice touch. You can see the design there on the top. That is absolutely stunning. Look at how cool that is. It's kind of shiny as well. Like I don't really know how to describe it. Like it's almost metallic. Can you see that there? It's kind of like the, the little designs on the, uh, on the top are actually metallic. Really, really smart. This for me would have probably been the exact type of thing I would have wanted as a kid. Um, the hinge on these never really felt too great. I don't know why, but um, not quite as bad as the, the 2DS XL, but yeah, the hinges never felt too great. Okay, I, we're gonna have to power this on. Uh, let's actually see if it's got like the memory card in here as well. Let's have a little look. It has got the memory card in there, so you can tell this hasn't been sold by someone who doesn't care because uh, a lot of the times they take those SD cards out. Will be interesting to see if there's any data on here. There is a good chance that this isn't actually completely brand new and it's rather just something that someone's grand purchased and then never actually used other than for one one sitting of a cooking video game where they uh, they cooked a creme brulee and then they just gave up in in the DS whole fad thing. Oh look, no, it has actually never been used. Or they've reset it. I don't know, we'll never know, we'll never know. Wow, the 3D, a function that I never ever used. Now, obviously this is a Japanese exclusive variant, so the 3DS itself is actually going to be in Japanese, as I always mention, but there's absolutely no point behind it. You could, if you wanted to, swap out the motherboard and, uh, and actually just have the, the housing and put a, a whatever region suits you in here. It's a collectible at the end of the day, so you wouldn't want to be doing anything like that. Uh, let's see, has it got the game pre-installed on here? No, it doesn't. So there is a chance that this has actually been used before because I think once you reset it, it stops, uh, it does actually get rid of that game. I think it only shows up on the first time you turn it on. Um, you'll have to let me know in the comment section. One thing I have got though that we can quickly try out is Mario Kart 7, a Japanese copy because you cannot put uh, PAL or NTSC uh, games in here. It has to be uh, the Japanese games. I love the inside of this box so much. I've actually been playing so much Mario Kart recently. I only just picked up a Switch OLED. Uh, I traded a bunch of stuff in um, at CEX and traded it for a Pokemon. Uh, I think it's the Scarlet something rather edition. Um, but yeah, it was like 310 pounds in CEX, which is about the price of a brand new OLED Switch. Uh, so I ended up just going for that one. And uh, obviously with CEX, if you trade in your stuff, you get a bit more money on the vouchers. So I was really pleased with it and I've been playing loads of it. So now I'm really good at Mario Kart. Right, I'm going to uh, I'm going to put this away now. I hope you have all enjoyed this video. It's been a lot of fun. I can't wait to show you some of the other uh, two blue shells in, in one game. That's, that's ludicrous. Can't wait to show you some of the other things that I've got uh, to unbox, like this one, for example, another Japanese exclusive 3DS limited pack. This is the turquoise and black edition, and it comes with a bunch of extra goodies, including the charger. What a world we live in. Right, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.